All right. Good afternoon, Monica. Yes, good afternoon. And welcome to my um, uh, learning English with uh, Lukru Watana. Actually, um, the page name is Rin Pisa Ongle, Chumui Lukru Wong Srai Watana. And uh, I have about 8K followers, and I'm pretty sure this is organic. And um, hopefully, this uh, short video will. Uh, come to the benefits of our followers, especially students who are learning English and um, who are in university. So this afternoon, I have a very special guest uh, right in front of me, um, Monica Tiang. It's good to see you again, Monica. Welcome back. And I'm, su I'm sure this is your second time, right, to be on the show. And um, I'm going to have Monica introduce uh, herself um, uh, uh, shortly. But I just want to um, kind of uh, let everybody know that uh, we have uh, brought you a topic about debate, okay? And recently, Monica uh, just participated with her team on a public debate. And I'm so curious, you know, to find out how it went through and how she learned and how she can cope with the... Um, very challenging you know um, i'm pretty sure it must have been something challenging to not only her but her team as well so um okay well without further ado uh monica why don't you introduce yourself yes uh, so and hello everyone my name is Tim monica i am a third year student a junior from ifl Institute of Foreign Languages. Yes. And uh, I'm also a debater at the FL Debate Club as well. And oh, yes, nice. Uh, as you may have already known, that I participated in the public debate uh, last week and mm -hmm. it was a very engaging session as well. Wow. And I'm here to share my experiences on that. That's awesome, Monica. Hey, so you're a junior, right, at IFL? Um... Yes. And the, the, the subject is uh, uh, English literature. So you, yes. so you, yeah, English literature. And you, is it B ed, right? Yes, I'm choosing B ed. B ed, yes. yes. And you are going to be an English teacher or a translator, do you know? Uh, more like a teacher. A than teacher. A teacher. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are meeting the future English teacher. <laughs> How old are you, uh, Monica, this year? I am 20. Are oh, you 20? Okay, Monica, third year from IFL, be at English Literature. Um, all right, Monica, so you're, you're from the capital city, Phnom Penh, correct? Yes. Okay. I have lived here ever since I was born. Okay. Actually, um, Monica and um, our family, we just live in the same neighborhood. A few years ago, I just moved to the suburb of the city. Um, it's good to see you again, Monica. Um, I kind of like want to hear more before we move to the debate uh, talk. Uh, I wanted to hear about your three years at college. What have you been learning? What have you been uh, going through at IFL? Uh, by the way, I'm, uh, I'm also a former IFLer. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to hear your um, generation. Um, how how is it like? How have you been kind of uh, coping? I think uh, my different my generation is not so much different from your generation. But mm -hmm. uh, I really enjoy learning a lot. It's like awesome. a fun and classroom. It has been uh, three years that I studied at I've since twenty twenty two. This is my third year, yes. but I still feel like blown by so fast. And mm. even though there are stressful times like uh, exams mm. season, but I still feel like uh, I chose the right school, for the right Very subject. Good. It has been a really memorable experience for me as well. And I wow. enjoy learning at IFL. Mm. I felt nostalgic. I felt nostalgic um, about the school, yes. Uh, yeah, there's been, I think it's called a, a student approach, student center approach, which means uh, students uh, express more. Uh, they conduct more of the presentation, a lot of student engagement, uh, where uh, professors uh, do less so that students feel more challenged to um, improve. 
Uh, and I did uh, witness that uh, I learned, you know, uh, about four years in at IFL. So it's good to hear your experience, Monica. All right, now let's just back to the debate, Monica. Uh, what was it? Um, what is the topic of the, the public uh, debate that you recently participated with your friends? Uh, so the recent public debate uh, was this house regrets girl boss culture. So I would like to give a brief explanations of uh, the motion in debate. We call it motion. So girl boss culture is like a culture that uh, empower women to become independent and mm. become the CEO of their company. So I was on the government side, which means I regret go boss culture. I did, I was not there so to support the culture. What was that again? I'm sorry I didn't really catch it the, the topic again. Robust? The this house regrets mm -hmm. girl mm -hmm. boss culture. Girl boss? Girl boss. Girls boss. Oh, yeah, actually, I remember. That. Okay, girls boss. Okay, support a girl boss. And 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 you're on the pro or you're on the and so because the motion says it regrets, right? I'm on the proposition side, so I regret the culture. Right. I do not the rise of girl boss culture. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Sounds like it's a bit of a hard position. Don't you yeah, think? <laughs> because when you have the value, or sorry, if you want to um, really come against the motion, but then, you know, what you believe, uh, yeah, I, I totally understand. I've been um, yeah, on the debate when you have to... Uh, girl boss, what is it like? I know it's, it's regret, uh, something that um, we don't want it to happen, right? Uh, girl boss, like girls become bossy? Like, is that the motion? I know that the regret that girls boss. Yes, yes, yes. But a uh, girl boss here means like uh, girls who become CEO of their own companies. Mm. They basically are the own boss of their life. Right, yeah. right. But uh, let let's talk about the word girl boss. Um, it sounds to me it 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 denotes a negative. Don't you think so? Girls boss is that right? Oh, okay, okay, right, right, okay. And you come against that, all right. It, mm. Although it sounds, yeah, although it sounds a little negative, uh, it means like it promotes female entrepreneurship and right. leadership. Right, And yeah. Mm, okay. That's when it comes to something that I'm really, really interested in hearing more about, you know, empowering women in our culture. Um, so back to the topic, what did you learn about this uh, um, on the stage? What did you learn? I actually learned many things. First of all, uh, it was another time mm. for me to get to practice in public debate. Mm -hmm. So if uh, many of you do not know, in public debate, mm -hmm. usually you are debating in front of a group of audience, but mm. you do not have any judge. Mm. Uh, the judge will not, uh, there are adjudicators, mm -hmm. but, uh, the judge, it's not a competition. It's mm -hmm. to debate in the public and persuade the audience. Mm -hmm. So being an opportunity for mm -hmm. me to practice on stage again, I learned, uh, I improved time management and I learned to uh, control my speed mm. during the debate because it differs from public speaking. I serve as the second speaker of mm -hmm. the debate. So I do rebut, rebut mm -hmm. me to mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. raise evidence or explanations against the other side yes and, uh, you cannot fork you cannot fork arguments therefore you have to be flexible so mm. i learned like to get more prepared prepared more to think about what they're going to say mm -hmm. against, so that we can reply, uh perfectly mm. that's mm. what i learned and another learn is about another thing that i learned about time management is that i should balance the time between mm. using my own arguments and mm -hmm. rebutting against the other side mm. that's what okay. i should balance more yeah okay um yeah that's that's uh very interesting about time management controlling um now when you were coming against the motion or the ideas from your opposition team 
Did you feel any anxiety? Did you feel any kind of a, you know, it, did, did something inside you that felt like, oh, I, I lost a, a, a focus and it seems like the team was uh, stronger, you know, did, did you have to go through any sort of that uh, kind of internal warfare? Yes, uh, I, it, I went through it ever since the mo saw the motion. I was like, mm. I mm. actually, uh, I want to uh, be in a culture where they foster mm -hmm. female entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. But then I have to stand on the side where I not believe. So it so it goes against my beliefs mm. and my interests. So it, it was kind of hard for me. I have always, I thought that whatever I say, I will not win the opposition side. But mm. at the end of the day, I remember that uh, there's no winning in this. And mm -hmm. then the more I do research and the more I talk, I felt mm -hmm. like my arguments actually makes a lot of sense. Mm. It's not that bad. Yes, yes. Yeah, there are very you know, bad sides about good boss culture as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, Monica, as I look at the uh, nature of debate, I know the idea doesn't really come from where we are from. I'm sure a uh, debate comes from Western world, right? Um, sometimes uh, candidates are placed in different position and they, they, they talk, they argue with ideas and evidence. Um, I think the whole idea about debate is when, when um, we put ourselves in a position sometimes not what we know or what we believe but it's kind of help us to put on somebody's shoes you know like looking at the motion in a different angle you know so we learn something when we shift ourselves from our own position and try to look at you know, a problem or something in a different angle, we may have seen something different, right? So that, to me, it's open mind, uh, that helps. So now, uh, uh, Monica, I'd like to know about your generation. Uh, do you see the learning attitude among your peers, your friends, you know? Um, do you think um, it's easy to enable someone uh, or activate their their learning attitude to be open mind when it comes to something new, something that they don't seem to agree with. Can can you say that again? Like um, for example, in in my um, generation, I felt like some people are very close minded. And it's it's really difficult to activate their looking at different angle of the situation. For example, let's say you believe that doing this is cor correct, and 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 I don't think it's 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 the it's correct, you know. So, but is it possible to change uh, or help you to look at this in a in a different way? So, what I'm trying to know is, in your generation, uh, do you? feel like uh, people are, are all more open to new things i know it's uh, deep with putting, yeah it's it's deep it yeah. depends on their fields of interest and how mm -hmm. much it aligns with their priorities mm -hmm. too mm -hmm. uh, speaking from my debate club everyone everyone is actually willing to debate and willing to like give their all my my trainer has always told me that when you get motion that differs from what you believe yes you're not there to, to argue against your belief mm -hmm. but you're there to put yourself in the shoes of people who believe yeah. it that's mm -hmm. what i have in mind yes and that has made me become more open-minded right and I right believe that people that Yes. Those thoughts too, and there are a lot of things, a lot of skills that the school has helped us mm. um, with to become more open-minded to. That's great. Uh, yeah. See other perspectives and mm. other insights as well. Yes, this is what I like to know, Monica, because I see it as an opportunity for someone to learn when they step aside from what they think to what they should listen. You know what I mean. So that's that's yes. very good, Monica, um, about learning at the debate. And the good thing is that you didn't feel any embarrassed because there's no winner or loser or <laughs> champion or second champion. 
Um, so yeah, not yet. Not yet. Oh, not yet. Um, so are you still part of the debate training? Um, are you still being coached? Yes, uh, we will. We will be doing a debate forum soon, mm. next month in August. So mm -hmm. this is where the whole generation, the generation of the teen generation of the debate club, will start uh, competing, and then we will see who's the best speaker, mm. which team is the best debate among the 19th generation. Wow. That's when we will know who's the winner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Monica, I have another question to ask you. What, what do you see some of the common challenges in either debate or public debate? Common challenges in, I would say, straight stake fright would okay. be the number mm -hmm. one challenges mm. uh, when it comes to speaking on stage because debate and yes. speaking of the speech you have to speak in front of mm -hmm. a group of audience so you feel like a lot of people are judging you mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. for, per, for me personally I feel more comfortable in debate but yes. in public speaking uh, in both categories you should uh, keep in mind that uh you are already getting opportunity and you're honored already to be mm -hmm. up there so do not be afraid you would make some yes. mistakes because uh we're not perfect it's okay they right. uh, the audience will not judge you or bring you down the mm -hmm. judges will mm -hmm. only be the one who judge you. Mm. it's true and yeah uh, another challenge it's it should be time management again because mm. time management is very important as in debate mm. if you go over the time you can face a lot of uh like deduction or mm -hmm. uh the judge would not listen to you stop you and even in public speaking if you go over the time you may face disqualification something like that so learning to practice a lot and manage your time is mm -hmm. super super important to yes. become a good debater and public speaker mm -hmm. very good do you know the end goal well, not really the end goal, but do you think um, the art of talking in public, the art of convincing people, important? Yes, it's very important because communication is super important. I think that the art of convincing people helps you speak more, expand your vocabulary skill, expand your critical thinking skill, especially debate. The more you think, how am I going to uh, prove my points right? Mm -hmm. The more your critical thinking skill expand, and mm -hmm. I have improved a lot. That's and good. in public speaking, when you are able to speak with confidence, you you are a confident speaker, and you expand your uh, career in the future as well. And I, all I see is benefit. Great. Hey, I have one more question for you, Monica. Do you think caring about people feeling? and focusing on the topic of what you are presenting which one do you think is most important i'm sorry please carry um, other people's when you are on a stage uh, uh there is a possible tendency that we care about how people judge our speaking rather than we the speaker focus on the topic which one do you think it's the most important when you are on a stage? I think both of them are important, but if you ask me which one would be more important, it's to focus on the topic. Like mm. I have mentioned that the audience will just be there to listen to you at the end of the day. They right. not even remember you, but the judges are there to check you. So you may, you may eliminate all the audience and think mm -hmm. that there are only four people in the room to judge you. So, mm. uh, yeah, I think it it works that way for yeah. me. Good, good. The reason I'm asking is because uh, my experience being pa a part of the debate is that um, when I when I tend to care more about people's feeling about how I conduct my presentation, I lost um, my attention. I lost my focus, oh, and then right. I felt a bit of a. a nervous and then i could um lost what i wanted to say but then when i 
started to focus more of what I wanted to say, uh, the goals and everything, I ended up being satisfied, you know, because um, I, 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 I have an analogy about this. Uh, it's similar, like, you know, like a horse dragging like a cart on the street. You see, uh, they put something in the, the, the horse eyes, right? They put it like that, right? There, there's something, oh, I, I don't know what you call it, maybe just the, the, the focus, the horse focus. I don't know the technical term for that, but it helps the horse focus on where to go, not on the uh, external surrounding because a horse can get distracted easily and it can go wild, right? So I see that similar to when we are on a stage. Uh, we are supposed to present what we, we are prepared. We should not look at, you know, much on, hey, how do people think about my presentation? Oh, that guy doesn't like my speaking. Oh, she doesn't look happy. So, you know, the more I concern too much about that, I can lose my focus and uh, I, it can affect my presentation so that that's something i i went through and i hope that helps you for your future um uh, uh, either presentation or debate you know when we we look at what we are supposed to say rather than concerning too much on how people think about how my presentation is going you know what i mean by that right i want to ask you to give uh, advice to freshmen and and sophomore you know in college uh, says they are now just coming to the first year and second year. They are going through some difficulties. Some of those probably you have already gone through. So I want you to give them some advice, okay, for year one and year two, because you are in year three right now. You are fighting, you know, and you have one more year to graduate, okay? Now the floor is yours. Thank you. Um, as a year three student, I would really recommend those who are uh, my juniors, maybe year one or year two. I want you. I I wish you could take advantage of all the campus resources, join clubs you would like, mm -hmm. attend maybe uh, the conferences or uh, attend those kind of like activities that the school provided use the campus resources like um, the school you know we have a very good environment a lot of people who wants to study at RFO not one can study so I think uh, it would be a great use if uh, you can come to the school and study there and mm -hmm. also uh, you join activities and resources here can also refer to um, the teachers there they are very very like helpful and they you can seek for their guidance anytime so uh because i give this advice because i started kind of late i already started in year three this kind of public speaker debating thing so i think if you start from year one you will have even more time and you will become even a better candidate than i am oh wow. that's great Wow, I think I asked you to talk, uh, yes, uh, uh, for the debates and also year one and year two who want to be part of this public speaking. Yes. Thank you very much, uh, Monica, for joining um, my podcast regarding these uh, debates and tips and your experience uh, in your junior life. So all the best to you, Monica, and you have uh, one more year to go. And uh, yes, yeah, stay in touch and uh, hoping that uh, in the near future you um, can, you know, offer more, you know, to...